All right, so in this lecture, we're going to be talking about the concept of dot .content, dot .children, dot .descendants, okay? So first thing first, you know, get your HTML doc in there, and then go ahead and import BS4, I'm, I'm sorry, from BS4, import beautiful soup, beautiful soup, okay? And then you know what we have to do. Go ahead and say soup is equal to beautiful soup. And then we say over here, I'm sorry, HTML doc, comma, HTML dot parser. Okay, cool. So we got our soup now and you can take a look. We have our soup. So the first concept I want to talk about is the dot contents. And what the dot contents function does is it returns everything that's there inside of your tag. For example, I'm going to store, I'm going to call this my head tag. Head tag is equal to soup.head. So if I print out my head tag, I'm going to get head title, the doormaster story, slash title, slash head. Now, if I say head tag dot contents, I get whatever's inside the first tag. So when I say soup.head, I get the head portion. So everything that's in from head to slash head. The head tag dot contents basically drills down one step further. So it gives me everything inside of head, leaving out the slash head and the head. So it's pretty neat when you want to get basically the contents of a specific tag. Now, the second function I'm gonna talk about is the child. So what we can do is, for example, if I wanna get every single object in my um, body, for example, I have this P over here, I have this next big P tag over here, and then I have this P tag over here. If I want to get each one separately, I use maybe the children's function. So what I can do is, first of all, let's go ahead and create one called body tag. Set this equal to soup.body, okay? And then I can say for I in body tag, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, for I in body tag dot children, um, print out I, print I. So by doing that, I get each of my objects inside of the body tag separately. So each one of these P, P and P um, tags are child of the body tag, okay? For example, if I had a simple, um, you know, a, a, a body tag and I had one P, one paragraph, um, an anchor tag and another paragraph, that would mean I have these three children inside of my body, okay? But right now you're probably noticing, well, hey, there's also this B tag, there's also this um, href, there's this text over here. Why isn't it giving it out separately? So the reason for this is the child only goes down directly. Right now this P tag is a direct child of my um, body tag. However, this B tag is part of the paragraph tag. It's not part of the body tag. That's why it's not being printed out separately. That's where the descendants come in, okay? So this is our third function, descendants. What descendants does is it goes through every single tag no matter what. So it's gonna give me the P tag, then the B tag, then text, and it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and bring this down. So for I in body underscore tag dot children, Instead of children, change this to descendants, okay? Um, if you enter, whoops, you get this. So like I said, we have our P over here, then we get the B, and then we get the text. So each individual piece of tag or each individual tag is now separate, okay? So instead of the child function in which it was direct, so from body, whichever tag was next inside of the body, that would be printed out. Descendants goes through every single tag. So again, pretty neat, right? Cool, so in this lecture, we covered quite a lot. Um, we talked about the dot children, the dot contents, and the dot descendant. The dot contents returns you basically everything inside of the tag. No strings attached, nothing like that, basically everything. The dot children returns you the direct tags. So if I have a body and I have maybe an image source, I have a P tag, inside of the P tag I have some text, and maybe I have an anchor tag, 
the dot children will return me each one of those tags, not the content inside of it. However, with the dot descendants, it returns me each one separately. So it goes through the P tag. It then notices, hey, there's also a tag inside of the B tag. So it gives me this and then it realizes, hey, there's some text inside of the B tag. So it returns me the text. So the dot descendants is pretty neat when you're trying to drill down um, fast. You know, you don't want to type all that dot P dot B and then the dot text. What you can do is basically use a descendants and get the information you need. Cool. So awesome job, guys, and I'll see you in the next lecture.